barrel roll. Barrel for me is all about the awkwardness. The awkwardness of, of, of walking hands, of how to shift weight into the hands. And changing that weight and, 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 and shifting that weight again so you're not we're not we're not in bird hands right bird hands are solid and strong you got these four pillars you're like stacked but now when we're talking about barrel when we're crossing arms it feels different it's not that stack you have anymore it's crossed it's a little little different you got to get used to pushing through like that and then on top of that now when we start taking one foot away everything starts to drop off right so learning how how does a flyer learn how to balance their weight like that on a base? So I always say, why jump on a base if you can't do it on the ground first? Let's do it on the ground. So let's get here. Let's cross our arms. Walking them out. Walking them. You know? <laughs> Learning to walk them, walk them back and forth. What does that feel? And a common thing when you're doing burrow rows, the arms will want to go out like that. Keep them in. And also, don't. another common thing is the arms want to go forward. Keep them underneath you, underneath the shoulders. Underneath the shoulders, cross it. Walk it. Walk it. So you how to do that. Another exercise is learning how to balance, learning how to balance your weight on three points. You're on four points now. Take one hand away. Easy enough, right? Now take um, one leg away. Easy enough. Now let's start doing those um, straight planks. Now it gets harder. And then taking a leg away or a hand. then it builds up to the hardest, the hardest, I think, exercise for barrel row um, to get really solid is to learn how to do your diagonals. If you're on your right hand, can you stay in this plank position using your left leg, lifting your right leg up and then your left arm, and then the opposite. How to get that diagonal solid. That's how you'll be able to balance your weight on just two points, which is very, very important in barrel roll. Getting that diagonal solid. And if you can't do that yet, just stay on your knees and do your diagonals on your knees like that. Find that diagonal line that feels really strong for you. There's two points of balance. If it's your right arm, it's going to be on your left leg. If you're on your left arm, you're going to be on your right leg. Nice and slow. And the hardest part about, I think, about growth and about getting to where you want to go is learning how to enjoy the process and learning how to appreciate where you are to definitely have goals try your best to compare yourself only to who where you are today and to compare yourself with how you envision yourself to be it's super easy in a community of like people who have been doing this for a long time to see to see someone do something and, and, and just think well damn why is it why does it look so easy why can't i just be there now and just learn to appreciate right where you are. Um, it, it's so hard, so hard. Sometimes when I, yesterday I did an exercise where I was talking to my 40 year old self and five years from now and, and trying to connect to what kind of pearls of wisdom he has to share for me. And he told me, <laughs> That's awesome. he told me, man, dude, you're beautiful right where you are. It's gonna be really hard and it's hard for me to accept that um, on days when I'm like, I just feel so behind compared to other people. I don't have a car, I don't have a house.
house, and our family, like all these things I don't have. And it's so easy to do that to ourselves and forget what we do have, you know. Like I have my health. I have a lot of time and a lot of freedom to explore who I am and what I want to do. And not everybody has that. It's super easy to take those things for granted. And so I try to focus on what do I have today? What can I do better? How can I be of service to other people? And the more I do that, and the more I figure out how um, I can continue to grow and be, a, be of help to other people, I'm going to have all the other things that I want, without a doubt, without a doubt. So it's, again, it's hard to focus, uh, to kind of appreciate where you are, but always try to remember that where you are is, is, is so beautiful, because it's your own personal place your own personal kind of space of where you are. We talked about the space between, right? Mm -hmm. Like uh, where you want to be and where you are. That's a beautiful space. It's a space of exploration and growth. And oftentimes it's only when we start looking back that we appreciate, wow, you did do a lot. Like, damn. If I looked at myself back when I first did Bird or something, I'm like, really? That was hard? It just becomes easy after a while. Mm -hmm. Like all things. Everything becomes easy once you do more. Let's go. Barrel roll. So we're going to... Let's start with a cartwheel on this side. So watch Kirsten, she comes in, elbows in, we come right back up into this kind of side bird looking thing. We switch hands over, switch hips, switch that hand, elbows in, straddle. You look so smooth right now. Remember the first time we did this, it was so awkward, and now we're understanding <laughs> how to make it nice and smooth. And then a lot of people ask, like you asked last time, do you switch the hand first or the hip first? Personally, I like the hand here first. The hip or the hand doesn't matter from here. If you're able to hold yourself, it doesn't matter too much. We do the hips and then the hand switches there. Or we can do, we definitely can't do hips first here. You have to cross first with the hands. But from here you can either do hips or cross the hands first there, then bring the hips down. So that hand, th this hand switch, uh -huh. um, that was the one I was talking about that we can actually go like this and, uh -huh. and, and as I'm coming down, uh -huh. I rotate around your thumb. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. That, um, that. this yeah. one here? Yeah. I think, I think it you may be referring to a different hand grip. That might be. Um, I think possibly you may be talking about this grip here, which is another way to do barrel roll. This thumb to thumb action here. Yeah. Where we rotate over, up, until I bird hands. I switch my hips first. Now we do the thumb. This palm faces up. Wait. Palm facing towards you. There it is. Now thumb to uh. thumb, and we're gonna rotate over the Something like that, right? Is that what you mean? <laughs> well, I, yes, except for that somehow, here I'll go down. Yes. Somehow I was just, I mean, like literally going, we, we never crossed and uncrossed. I just, my hands just literally were rotating around his thumb the whole time. Interesting. Um, and I think it was barrel roll, unless it was something else, and I'm mistaken. It possibly could be something else, but the what's way it, that I've What's another one that's real similar? Yeah. It might it might be a uh, monkey frog or a spider roll. Anyway. So let's focus on um, But that was awesome. <laughs> okay, let me try to teach from what I know. Okay? Yes. So let's go over. I'm gonna have you scoot down just a little bit and center. You, you are so there. good. I didn't even mean to do that. Yeah. High five. <laughs> High five. So Kirsten was really good about making sure I had Lots of space behind me because within my play, I'm not being aware of where I am in relation to the mats or to the ground. Okay? So let's go over part one. Switch hands. Switch in the hands. In. Over. Switch. Switch. Over. In. Switch. Which one more time and all the way pop running out on this side. Now let's do.